Just like a gege bread, he arose. That is so demeaning. Good day, have a word, and today you're welcome to the Setro's Lot family. I'm Jacket Tolu and etc. In case you're just stopping by and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I have with me my funny husband. Yeah. This is that's the most handsome Yekebo African initials. I've only pumping a physical power husband. And today, <laughs> sit down and enjoy the Easter break with us. Okay, happy Easter to all our Christian brethren, all our Christian brothers and sisters. And while we're still in the spirit of Easter, mm -hmm. celebrating, mm -hmm. and this gangentious thing happened, do you know what happened? What? This bank called Sterling Bank, yes, Sterling Bank, in Nigeria, West Africa, the globe, they came up with one useless email like that. And they sent to people that, just like a gege bread, he arose. That is so demeaning. That is, it's, it's, it's a no-no. And everyone on social media just came up saying, how dare you, how will you, telling back a corporate organization, be, 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 be comparing people's faith, people's belief system with what? With a loaf of bread. And, you know, right I'm here down. in Nigeria, let me calm down. Okay. Let me calm down. Don't calm me down. Let me be calming down myself. And people right here in Nigeria are just, are just saying, you know that this the, the state of Nigeria right now is really volatile, even mm. most African countries. You know what is happening? Kidnappings, killings here and there. And you know that what is keeping this uh, African countries, Nigeria, it's belief, belief system, their religion. And yet you're there saying this. It's just because Christianity doesn't fight for anything religion. Christians don't fight for really on religious basis. But if it were to be some other religions that don't play with their founder or anything... Eduro. Things would have started, they would have started killing. Chai, chai, chai. And you now say somebody sat down there and another person supervised him and they put out that as a mail to people that you're greeting people like a gay gay bread. How okay, dare you? Let me come in here. I think that is uh, one of the most stupid ways to misrepresent a bank or to misrepresent an organization because that mail is the most insulting mail to Christendom that I've ever come across on the day that they are celebrating the rising of their own Jesus Christ. You're not comparing that to Anagege bread. It, it looks, though it looks uh, not that strong, but it looks like whoever must have drafted that meal is probably not thinking with a medulla. <laughs> so, and uh, it's painful that Jesus that paid the price for the sins of the world is now being compared to a substance, a human produced substance. I find that seriously offensive. And I I just can't imagine. I'm asking myself the question, does that male have a supervisor? The person that wrote that male, does he have a supervisor? Did he emanate from a department and does it mean that anybody can just walk up and send a mail to over thousands of customers? Don't that is really appalling. It's it's not done anywhere. You can't send such sensitive mails. You you just think you're cracking jokes. You're saying just like a gigi bread. A gigi bread for those are international uh, audience. It's just a, a local bread. Yes. A local bread that has been produced with the use of some level of yeast, high level of yeast, and is right, it rises up more than it's the better. normal expected size. So I I want to believe that whoever uh, drafted that mail was thinking it's going to be a fun, uh, a funny mail to celebrate Easter, but I tell you, oh such person, I would recommend a book, Think Fast and Slow, for that person. He needs to go and read that book so that he can be able to think fast and also think slow. Because when you are now thinking slow, you are recapping on what you think must, uh, must have been able to deliver a particular line to people. But at the end of the day, it ends up hanging you. But unfortunately, it's not going to be hanging the person that wrote that mail. But a whole bank and don't let us forget, this bank is employing thousands of people, of which you'll be shocked. 
that there are even more Christians employed by this bank than the other religion. But this simple mistake, I call it a mistake because I know, I have a little knowledge about that bank. That bank will not willfully want to do anything that will bring any religion down. I'm, I'm telling you that for sure. But a mistake from a staff can bring down a whole bank. So, And I've been seeing series of mails, series of uh, comments on social media, uh, castigating uh, uh, the bank, saying a whole lot about the bank, advising even the Christian body to go after the bank and the likes. I just want to balance the story. It's offensive to me. It's offensive to a lot of persons that saw that mail. But let us have this, that still in the spirit of Easter, there is something that is being taught about forgiveness. But forgiveness does not open room for stupidity. You understand? There is room for forgiveness and there is room for us to also what to raise our eyebrow on matters that are sensitive like this so that we don't wake up to find our country at a boiling point. And so that's why I would say let's temper justice with mercy because I believe that mail is wrong. And I also believe that mail doesn't represent the entirety of the bank. The bank management system will never, will never sit down to draft something to upset the people that are the major patronizer of their business. And that's just it. They should just do it. And people have been saying on social media they should tender an apology. They should do... Wait! When it, it comes to tendering an apology, I can tell you, with the little knowledge I have about the present, even the present MD of that bank, at least, I have some knowledge about his personality. He will never condone any act that will misrepresent the bank or create crisis in the country or create religious dichotomy. And immediately he has sent a mail because I got the first mail of this ridiculous uh, stuff that was sent and I also got his mail apologizing on behalf of the bank and the likes. I can show you the mail just for you to go through. So please, I want to believe that if somebody knows that they've erred, either by error of commission or omission, and they tender apologies. In the spirit of Easter, we should just what, as Christians, forgive and correct them so that they don't do such again, because it will now be so stupid and awkward if that kind of mistake emanates again. Mr. Satro, because you're already preaching now, preach and preacher, now we should forgive. Yes, I'm forgiving, I'm coming down. But the in thing is, before you know something, once uh, maybe an organization or someone or a party can just do something and they get away with it, you just see that other people will start coming up with such, before they turn people's belief, people's faith, people's uh, reason no. to, to nothing. So I just think they should just quickly adjust. In that, uh, in that part, no stupidity should be allowed against any religion. Nobody should just rise up and do anything castigating about the other religion. Whatever religion you practice is yours. You're free. Just and be very careful not to step on the toes of other people's belief because that is absurd. That is not financially intelligent enough for a financial institution like Sterling Bank. And as such, I want to believe that they will go after proper what check up on that department that might be responsible for this. So don't allow this to scatter your mind in Easter because in Easter we eat chicken. Let me just have your comments on this that we've discussed in the comment section below. What do you think and what, what will be your advice to all uh, corporate organizations and non-profit making Some people have told the uh, what's it called? The Christian body to so take it up with Sterling Bank. Okay, let me let me have your own view or your own take on this in the comment section below. And don't forget the joy therapy. That's what keeps you alive above whatever vicissitudes of life, whatever challenges, whatever you're facing. Make sure you keep your joy because your joy is your strength. Until we come your way next time in the next video, we remain the setters. Catch you. Love you. Bye-bye. And please don't forget to forgive. And hug your wife 16 times by day. He kills what we call Oripepe Demon. Catch you. Bye bye.
my thoughts get so bad I'm like I might grab a bat, I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like Oh God, here goes, I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show